Hey there! Doc, back again with what I believe will be the conclusion of my Mega Man 2 special weapons run. You guessed it, we have to refight all the bosses. Unlike Mega Man 1, we can choose which order to do them in. As usual, I'm gonna go counterclockwise. I don't actually remember what bosses are in which uh, spots, but you know, I'll find out soon enough. Mega Ma Heat Man! Alright. Heat Man is not a bad place to start. I'll take that hit. Uh, come on. There we go. Heat Man is all about timing and distance. If you keep a. If you uh, time yourself properly and keep your distance, it is no big trouble. I like certain robot masters. Air Man! Alright! Quick boomerang. Oh, tough one. I can't dodge. That's hard to dodge. Oh, shoot. That wasn't good. Well, I mean, it's not like I haven't got plenty of lives and plenty of quick boomerang, so I should be okay. I just need to be a little more careful. Um, that was not being careful. That was. That wasn't. That wasn't either. Oh, wow. This is going to be a problem. Am I going to have to resort to Leaf Shield anyway? Well, I'll take a quick boomerang to start. See if I can get up closer and, uh... Ow. Ow. Oh, this is not good. <sighs> well... Okay. The new strategy worked. Did I just walk through the top of that? Hmm. Oh, Woodman. Alright. You're actually going to get a demonstration of the uh, atomic fire. Um, I have to wait. Powerful when fully charged, but I can no longer fully charge it. That's why it doesn't get much air time. It's just the... The original shot is just the... The uh, uncharged shot just isn't that powerful, and the charged shot takes too much energy. That didn't work as well as it should have. Maybe because I wasn't, uh, I didn't do a very good job of it. Who's next? Oh, fun. Quick man! Um. Uh, gonna start off hitting you with air shooter. Oh, I am going to soon die. Okay, time stop! The best way to take out Quick Man. Ah, uh, I took a lot of hits on that, though. Hey, I still have one bar of uh, Time Stopper. That's never going to come in handy ever. Crash Man! Air Shooter will work even a little better against you. I'm just taking hits all over the place. 
Mega Man likes to teleport in midair, apparently. Metal Man! If you know what's coming. <laughs> what? <laughs> the life energy disappeared on me. <laughs> I didn't even know that could happen. Oh, sadness. Okay. Flash man. I shouldn't have even let you run into me. Ow. Okay, well. Eight down. Wily to go. His, uh, his, uh, strategy is kind of very similar to, uh, kind of very similar to Mega Man 1. Um, oh. Well, his puffballs made me puffballs. Yeah, his strategy is very similar to Mega Man 1, a uh, flying machine that goes back and forth and shoots shots at you. I wonder, will anything other than Metal Blade work on him? Oh, well, I'm gonna try. Alright, he is airproof. Not heat proof. But I don't have enough to make this really effective. But I might as well run myself out of it. He's also waterproof. I know he's not crash bomb proof, but I don't have any of that, so metal blades it is. Again, you can lead his shots a bit. Um, but I'm going to have to use an energy tank. Because I'm just not very good at leading his shots. Come on. I suppose an equally effective strategy is to just sit there and uh, let him uh, just to do that. Just let him hit you and go all out on him. Um, maybe I should. Oh my God! I can't see myself again. Where can I see his life? Ah, oh, that was a little bit too close. I am almost out of metal blade. If I had, uh, if I had failed there, it wouldn't have been good. Considering I needed two E tanks against him, and I uh, would have lost all of mine. We. The most easily broken scrolling section in the game. <laughs> Those red drops are supposed to be a threat. They're not. Well, it's time to pull out the weapon for the last boss in the game. And even if you aren't doing a special weapons run, you're going to need this. Because bubble lead is the only thing that will harm. Alien Wily. This must have just boggled people's minds when this game first came out and they hadn't played this, hadn't beaten it before. Wily is an alien? That doesn't explain anything. I tend to take hits from his, uh, shots, uh, just because I'm not overly careful, but his, taking a couple of, of hits from the bullets is okay. What you don't want to do is run into the hologram, because that does absolutely 
ridiculous amounts of damage. My shots do, like, four or six or something like that. Uh, you definitely don't want to take too many of them, but... I think running into the uh, alien itself is, uh... It's like half your life bar or more. That... That's just not good. I really have to once again question uh, the wisdom of making a boss that is weak to only one thing and one thing only, and you have, like, no margin for error. The problem I have with that is it, for it can sometimes force you to game over just because you don't have enough of the special weapon. Especially here, because there is nowhere to get more bubble wet now. I would have at least had a, another another weakness. Oh, well look at that, it was a hologram all along. I'm not sure what exactly Wily is doing there, it doesn't seem like he's doing much to control it. Yes, that's right, BEG FOR MERCY! Of course, you're just going to be let go again, and Dr. Light will, for some reason, trust you with uh, building a gigantic peacekeeping robot. <sighs> Mega Man, your job is not made easier by your creator. This is kind of an interesting little sequence. Um, the first time you get to see Mega Man walking off, walking, uh, well, not off in the sunset, but into you, into the screen. It won't be the last time. Uh, as long as you play the SNES version of Mega Man 7, it won't be the last time. If you play the uh, Anniversary Collection version, Yeah. He leaves his helmet behind. Well, at least he didn't leave his head behind. He did that already way too many times in this game. And for the first, this is the first time we see the uh, numerical ordering of the robots. Um, I think it's common assumption that this is the order in which Dr. Wily built them. Um, I find it kind of, but I find that kind of uh, difficult to believe that it was just in that order because, well, I mean, if you're gonna make robots like that, why would you make them weak to one of the weapons of a robot you haven't even built yet? I mean, you can question the wisdom of making your robots weak to another robot's weapon in the first place, but I imagine that that is actually a failsafe on the part of Dr. Wily and Dr. Light as well. Make a, each robot weak to something another robot does so that if, for some reason, said robot should go berserk, one of the... that... Uh, the robot that it's weak to can, uh go ahead and try to stop it. Of course, it doesn't work if all the robots go berserk at the same time, but that's why you get a Mega Man. But what I would question is why you make a robot weak to something that you haven't even made yet. Unless you're waiting to activate them until after all of them are made, but I mean... Does he, did he know he was going to make those specific eight robot masters in the first place? It actually might kind of explain why Metal Man is weak to his own weapons if he's the first one. Anyway, that was Mega Man 2 Special Weapons Run. I plan to do more of them, but next it will be another episode of the Nostalgia series. I have decided what game I'm going to play, but uh, I think I'll leave that a secret for now.
Until then, this is Dr. Novocaine, and I will see you later.